What's going on guys? It's Declaration and today we got the dually back. Uh, so I've had it back for a little bit but I just kind of wanted to you know drive it around make sure everything was good before I kind of just said hey I got it back and then I had to go back to the shop for any reason or anything like that so uh, it's running good. Um, there's one issue we'll talk about it at the end of the video um, but it's, it's very minor and I already got a solution for it. Um, but yeah, what I kind of want to talk about today is everything that was wrong with my uh, 2003 F350 Dually. Um, yeah, we'll talk about it. So I bought the truck for $7,200 and I was looking for the purpose I got this truck for was to have something to be able to tow the race cars with and just take them to different events because a lot of the cars you don't really want to be driving them for more than an hour they're not very comfortable so to be able to take have a vehicle such as this to take them to different events so yeah that's why I got the vehicle the issues that I was complaining about and then we'll talk about all the parts that it needed so the oil cooler was leaking um, internally and externally, so there's oil in the coolant and oil coming out of the oil cooler. Um, we need, uh, so I had to do a fresh uh, coolant flush. Both the exhaust manifolds were leaking, um, the up pipes were leaking, um, the rear pinion seal was leaking, had a very rough cold start, um, and I needed new pads and rotors, and there was a clunk in the front end. So now we're gonna talk about the stuff that was end up being after they dug deep in because when I dropped off the truck I wanted them to go through everything and because I want to just sort it out and not have to worry about it and not coming back and forth to the shop like 20 fucking times like that's not my style uh, pay the labor once get it out the way um, so I got the uh, a new oil cooler I got the IPR oil cooler relocation kit. So instead of the original location for the 6.0 Power Strokes is right in the valley of the engine, I got one where it relocates it up towards the front of the, uh, the radiator support, um, out of the heat and very well, um, a lot better. Um, so also had to get a new oil cooler gasket, obviously. Um, new intake manifold gasket because you have to pull the intake manifold. Um, new up pipes. Um, an EGR kit because this truck was EGR deleted. And I do live in Northern Virginia. And because uh, and the emissions for Northern Virginia is like you require to have the EGR. So we put the EGR back on there. Um, exhaust manifold gaskets. Um, I need a new fuel filter, new oil filter, new oil filter cap. Um, a rear pinion seal, sway bar bushing on the axle, that was what that clunking in the front end was. Um, I needed a new glow park, uh, plug harness because as you guys you saw it w didn't want a cold start very well um, on the last video on this truck. So the um, glow plug harness needed to be replaced. Um, new oil, so all the fluids were flush. Um, also got um, a set of new tires. Um, all six tires need to be replaced. Um, the injector, I want an injector need to be replaced and I ended up having to uh, have both front calipers replaced, both front rotors, um, and the, I think the passenger side brake line had collapsed. So that had to be replaced as well. Um, yeah. So with all of that um, and labor, and everything the bill came to about eighty six hundred dollars so yes that, that, was, that was a lot of money when you think about it um, but my budget for a daily duty well sorted tow rig was fifteen to sixteen thousand dollars that's what I was looking to get go at and now I'm right at like I think do the math uh, fifteen thousand eight hundred and on this truck which a little high but not bad that's right around what my budget was all right so now I'm gonna take you guys around and show you kind of the new stuff that's on it so check it out so the interior just the same I got a nice little monitor in there I actually probably go on the other side pop the hood 
But the truck kind of looks the same for the most part. The only thing that's different is the IPR oil cooler, which I'll show you. And we'll show you guys a cold start. This truck has been sitting for a few days, so it hasn't been started in a few days at all. And it's like 45 degrees outside, so not exactly warm either, so. Check it out. Alrighty. So this is the IPR oil uh, cooler relocation. So it's got this nice stack coming up right here, puts the oil cooler right here. And that's the coolant filter. So other than that, I mean, these pipes were red. Um, and when I bought the truck, I bought it for $7,200 and it was already studded. So that's a good benefit. And I don't know if you guys know this, but if you look down on the driver's side, it's hard to tell, but if you look right there where my finger is pointing, um, you can see the, um, the, the 12 points uh, nut head for the ARP. So that's down there and you can see on a couple of them in this area and if you look on the passenger side like now I think that IPR stuff is kind of in the way but you can see it on that side as well and you can tell if the truck is studded or not. Um, yeah but all my fluids were flushed and oh yeah the Ficum was already brand new when I bought the truck as well so I mean that's a big plus and so yeah we'll do the cold start. Let's see here. The glow plugs warm up. Yeah, I told you it's cold. They're on for a little bit, aren't they? And came up. So. radio but yeah um, so I have the um, I'm, so there's two things that are going on with the truck still that I'm kind of like figuring out um, seems like there's a slow power draw on it if you look I started it the started didn't sound super strong it sounds like the batteries so either I have the new batteries I got there's an issue with them or there's something slowly drawing current because it takes a, a few minutes but once it warms uh, uh, the batteries, the alternator really kicks in, it'll go to like 14 volts. So that's, it's not the alternator. Uh, but yeah, and this is the CTS-3 Edge, the Edge CTS-3, which uh, I'm, a, I'm a fan of it. I've only had it for, I've only been able to use it for about a week now, but it's, it's going pretty well. Um, but yeah, once the truck is like on, and the other thing, there's a slight vibration. Let me show you show you that real quick. Ah. So only other issue with the truck and the previous owners, they had this truck with the um, bed off. So they modified the exhaust. If you look right here. It just dangles, and you can hear the with well, the pipe rubbing against the cross member inside the car. So it sounds like there's like a suspension rattle, but you don't feel it in the steering wheel. So I've already ordered a new exhaust, so we'll get the new exhaust on, and then that issue will be eliminated. The only thing we got to worry about is figuring out where this power draw is coming from. yeah all right guys the dually's back I'm uh yeah that's about it you guys have any questions like this type of video comment down below let me know have a good one peace